Hey guys, you're watching Naughty Styles. I hope you're already part of our Naughty crew on the Patreon. If you're not, check it out right here. And also check out our Instagram. Today we are on board of a 93 Viking. And what a fun boat to show to you. So welcome on board of 93 Viking. Let's check it out. We are on the swim step where we always start and what a swim step. So we have an hydraulic swim step which would hold the tender if you want to put a tender on there. I mean in its full beam like let me go all the way back here. It is a massive swim step. Yeah and the then beam is impressive. Yeah right and we still have a, a garage here which could hold a jet ski or other water toys. Oh, this is a really nice cockpit. What an entertaining space. Look at this, guys. So this table's already extended. It could be shorter. Uh -huh. For dinner, it's set up and it's pretty big, but there are two leaves that come out. And on this side, ah, oh, this is great. Yeah, I can work here. Okay. Really nice aft bar. Yeah, right? Can I get you anything? <laughs> really, really pretty. That's a proper bar. Look at this. Yeah. So we got an ice maker here, storage drawers, another storage here. Yep. And a fridge, full-size drink fridge. Loaded. Some good stuff in there. <laughs> it's so hot out here, you guys. Really hot. I propose we go forward to the bow. Go forward to the bow. Okay, let's do it. So you've got your side door here. Yep. Wow, so look at this view! Boarding doors. Man, that's, a, that's a catwalk. I like how they kind of like sunk in, in a little bit the, uh, the cleats so they don't stand out that much into the mold. And then we got another boarding door forward. Got our watertight side doors from the pilot house. So Vikings are known for sport fishers, but they also make pretty awesome motor yachts. And this is a motor yacht and it does feel very yachty. Very typical Viking quality. Everything feels extremely oversized and solid. Handrails, everything. Look at the storage for all your covers, fenders, etc. Really big storage. Just turn around. I mean, it's just turn. insane. Yeah, amazing. Were you just singing, turn around? Was that what you were just doing? No, I would never do that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What is it? Got a little washdown station here. Oh, wow. It's big. Yeah, really nice. Maybe All that's right? part of a little fishing you might want to do ever? Or? Maybe. Hmm, pretty cool. Okay, so there's another space here. Another fender line. Massive cleaning storage. storage. Well, these guys are organized. Really nice. So this yacht has a full-time crew. Look at these. 
skylights. So there's a hatch and the skylights. And which I think is probably for the VIP, I would assume. Probably. Uh, Safe to assume. Is, I mean, one thing I noticed on the bow here, what, what, are you, what do you notice? Do you notice anything on the bow? It is completely clean. There's nothing. Right? Everything is hidden, Amazing. put away. There's nothing everything, in the way. Everything is in the compartments. I think you got to open up some hatches here. All right. Oh, yeah. Big anchor locker. All your anchor chain is in there. So it looks like we have two anchors um, fitted on this boat. Dock lines in here. Great accessibility. And you, you have, I don't know if you guys see wow. this, but everything has shocks on it. So it's really easy to open and close um, the hatches and get to your equipment. Got our two anchors here, two windlasses. Not gonna open this two one. Too hot, you guys. <laughs> it's hot out here. Not gonna make him work too hard. Okay, and then. And the other side, I assume, of the anchor locker. There we go. Correct. Yep. Look at how deep it goes. Yeah, there's no problem with stacking up chain and getting, you know, stacked up too high and you have to push it down. There's plenty of space in the anchor locker. Okay, can we talk about this pretty fabulous bow? I'm sure this come up. There's cup holders everywhere. Lights up here. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's a really nice looking bow. Right. Mm -hmm. Going back? Yeah, so you got, looks like very similar, but this is probably not the same, right? Well, it's a little it's different. It's another like ice chest yep. with a drain. Okay. Walking aft. Oh, this starboard looks... Starboard side. This looks different because you have this sliding doors here. And you have something else, which we can't see right now. Ah. We got a drop down balcony right here. Oh, that's so sweet. Right? Yeah, so it has... Uh, Receptacles. Uh, extensions coming in here, right? Yep. Uh, for safety and oh, what a nice spot up here. Love it. I really like the lines of the bulwarks. Like they're starting off a little bit on the higher side in the aft portion. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but they're dipping down midships, giving you a little bit better visibility out the windows and also following the lines of the windows. Very nice design. Turn around. The wing station. Get an aft station, I would assume on either side. Got our engine controls, hydraulic thruster controls, and uh, our MTU engine controls as well. No, it's just on one side. Okay. Yeah. All right. Should we check out the interior? Yes, please. Let's do it. Go. Let's get into the air condition. Hot out of here. Ta-da! That's a really big space. And it feels very open and inviting nice colors too yeah really cool uh, cool choice sofa. of a sofa in this area we have a wine cooler mm -hmm. here also have some stemware stemware storage nicely organized mm -hmm. drawers up here your entertainment yeah all our audio visual uh, uh, equipment yacht management system right there yeah, and come on into the dining space. Dining for eight. Mm -hmm. It feels very modern, but warm and, and comfortable, right? Yeah, it's a co contemporary, but not too crazy. So we've got a little cool hidden feature here, just in case you don't want to share your What's alcohol. What's that? <laughs> I don't know we're talking. Right? Nice little feature. Uh huh. Love it. Looks really cool. So there's obviously all of the storage here too, you guys. Tons all the dinner of, tons of storage. utensils. Check this out, very nice. Dishes, silverware. Mm -hmm. The woodwork is really, really beautiful. It's like nicely finished and mm -hmm. yeah, the floor, right? Are you checking floor, out the floor? Yeah, floor, floor feels and looks really nice as well. Pretty Great awesome. choice of color, I think. These doors are fabulous. So that's where you've got that balcony that you come out to, the drop mm -hmm. down and um, the doors open up, um, cool little space. Just imagining sitting at anchor in the Bahamas, you drop the balcony down and you have just this beautiful blue, I mean, it's just like another piece of art, all right? Well, that looks interesting. What do we got? So we have a, a galley. Um, obviously this, um, this boat is set up to have a full-time crew, so the galley is separate from the salon. 
and um, it's a really, really nice size. But it is kind of like a country style. It is. It, it is a country uh, uh, style. Galley. We got four bar stools. Mm -hmm. um, just okay. This is looking aft right now. Let me turn around. You're standing in the galley, looking forward. Just give you perspective. It's really Fantastic. big. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, easily eight people can can have, have breakfast, breakfast here. at the same mm -hmm. time. Kind of nice, very casual, and um, it's a nice setup here. Really like it. It is a lot of provisioning storage space. Wow, I'm just looking at it. It it's a lot. I'm not gonna open it all up because that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Because we basically have got like three working areas, you uh -huh. know, so it's, we've got our island and that whole space, so it's, it's a lot. Fridge is huge. Big Sub-Zero. Wow. Yep. Dual door. It feels really nice too. <laughs> and the freezer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And keep going this way. So we have a, a microwave oven. Storage. Storage space here a proper oven with a hood all the appliances seem to be melee rico's favorite brand induction cooktop mm -hmm. look at all of this storage you guys storage 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 what do you think of the no handle design well because it's this wood it's got really nice closing mechanisms yep. super soft and um it's not loud at all Look, even inside here, varnished wood finishes. Like the countertops. So continues on with the storage here. All of this here. Trash uh, compactor, trash compactor huh? right here. An ice maker. Pretty sure there's a dishwasher. I'm still looking for it. Let's see here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Perfect. Yep. All storage. Another cool feature is the side door straight into the galley. So when you bring all your groceries in, you don't even have to go through the salon, through the boat, you just bring it straight in. A really nice galley. This, my friends, is a day head. Cute one too. <laughs> storage. Nice size day head. The wood is super soft. So let's uh, check forward. out all the way forward. Wow, look at the staircase. This is beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of staterooms. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we go all the way forward. So that's got to be the VIP, I would assume. And oh. we saw those um, skylights. Skylights, yeah. Look how tall this boat is, you guys. It is really, really tall. I can't reach the ceiling. I mean, look, I'm standing on top of this second step. I can't reach the ceiling. And still can stand up, yeah. Check it out. That's so nice to wake up in the morning, right? right. Just open it up and get extra light. Got a fusion stereo here for the cabin. Really nice size TV. Big wardrobes. Yeah, I can I can live in that so big. It's really cool. All right, so that we have drawers here. Two drawers, four drawers down here. Very and nice. Another side, his and hers, or his and his and hers and hers. Awesome. Same size matching on this side. Um, ensuite, beautiful size here. What's this door do? Oh, cute. Storage space. There's a lot of room. Good, good size shower. Wow. I almost felt like upstairs was more modern and down here it's a little more classic feel to it, right? Yeah, a little. So we have all of that storage down here and we got Madison cabinets as well. So it's it's good, really nice. The floor is marble, right. really pretty. Okay, keep going, right? Going aft. Mm-hmm. Bunk bedroom. Yeah, um, well, Pullman's birth. I'll call it the bunk bedroom. Get another nice size TV there. Storage, drawers, and there is a proper closet as well. Awesome. With some drawers. Nice cabin. All right. Some kind of linen cabin as well. Oh yeah, also like a little linen cabin. Going further aft. Washer and dryer, two separate ones. There. It's all Mila, Rico. Yep. You know they spend money on appliances here. Okay. The and German quality. 
And then we have another double cabin. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this double cabin. Look at the space here. You didn't expect this, huh? Nope, I did not I expect I thought it that. just will end right here. Look how beautiful this is to get ready and stuff. Really cool. This feels like a hotel room. Yeah, great hanging locker as well here with mm -hmm. drawers, big drawers. Yeah. This cabin and the other Pullman, Pullman birth cabin, the bunk bed cabin, yeah. they share this head here. Got it. What a that great... You have direct access to yeah, the head through here. that door here. Yeah. Very cool. So also the same thing, plenty of room. Great space to maneuver, move around. Large shower yeah, again. Very nice. And they did a mirrored ceiling up here and it definitely gives it even more height, even though it doesn't need it. It's so tall, right? Right. It's really tall. And we still have another cabin. So that's already one, two, three, four. So Port this side. is a VIP as well. There are oh, like yeah. this two is, VIPs. This is a great cabin. Again, fusion stereos throughout. TV in every cabin. It's beautiful. You've got um, in the nightstands, you've got storage, and then there's pretty big drawers here as well, you guys. Yeah. And you've got your usual. That is a big one. Yeah. Big drawer here. Mm -hmm. And a really nice ensuite as well. Good size. Nice, huh? Yep, very nice. So the master must be completely separate. Like a midship? Yeah, we like that. So we keep going and then another staircase here. Oh, it looks completely different. It has a different vibe, different um, it kind of continuation of the salon. The, um, wow, like this wall is kind of cool. It's like a velour. Cool. Oh, holy moly. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Over there? Very large master. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. That's a king size bed. Yeah. Wow. And that is a king size TV. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, you guys. All right, where do we start? On your side? Okay. Okay. Just in case you want to have a little uh, meeting with your partner, you know, a proper table for that. I like it. Yeah. Honestly, I really like to have a proper table, two chairs, because it could be your workspace. It's true. Could, you can have your coffee there or whatever it might be. You know, maybe you Looks just like want to have some alone does, time. Someone does work here. There's a phone and everything. I really like it. Yeah, I agree. So you've got drawer underneath the bed, a bunch of drawers here, drawers over there. I mean, I can't open it all. We will be here all day and we have a lot of good boats to see. So just trust me when I say this, it is Victoria approved for storage. Wow. Drawer, drawer, all of that. That is some massive storage. So we have that table there, a workspace slash meeting table. We also have this really cute space as well. A little makeup station or a workspace. Yep. So technically you've got two really nice areas for that. So I'm sure they could have opt for like an extra um, little sofa, you know, settee there if, yep. they, if they wanted to, but um, they ordered it this way for a reason. Maybe they do um, a bunch of work on when they're in the boat. What is what Viking? So you get to choose and pick um, whatever you like and change things pick, around. Pick and choose? Pick and choose, <laughs> choose and pick. Okay, as long as it's not choose and pig. Yeah, not pig. Mm. Okie dokie, dual vanity, me likey. Nice, tons of extra space here with storage. All the medicine cabinets as well. We've got a head here and a good size walk-in shower there. The whole boat feels like so solid, right? Very. Yeah, you, you really feel like you're in a, a really big super yacht. It's got a good feel like all the flooring. Great size shower. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, it's perfect. I think if you really wanted to, and were super picky like Rico, who likes his head privacy, you actually could have that completely separate with a um, with a pocket door. Could be yeah, easily done. For sure. All right, but there's more. Oh wait, we didn't go here. That should be the would probably the wow. walk-in closet. Wow. Well, there's got some personal stuff in there, so I'm not gonna go in, you guys. But it is a big walk-in closet. Well, you you go in. I it goes here. all the way in here and in here. 
<laughs> it's big. It's got some Fantastic. Uh, up, up there storage and stuff. It's a nice size for All sure. All right. Should we check out the enclosed fly? There's an enclosed fly? There is. I'm joking. Let's go. So welcome to the sky bridge. Wow, beautiful. Right? I gotta point out, as we went upstairs, um, the stairs were had that nice non-skid finish mm -hmm. on top of the wood. It was really, really nice. Felt very safe, right? Yeah, very nice staircase. Well, this is a beautiful space to uh, hang out. What do you think? I really like that it's, it feels very integrated. Everything feels connected to each other. Yeah, and it, it, it even got like a, a bar stool you know, area, an actual bar to well, hang you can out. Open, you can open up the window. And this here, it looks like it lowers. Yeah, you can open that up and then you have a real indoor outdoor experience. Ah, very cool. So you have a lot of storage here and come over to the helm, which is a seating for five. Pretty fun. It's got a good little step up here to be able to sit up here. I can't even jump up. Oh, how pretty. It's like a cork finish. Look at that. It's nice on Fantastic. your feet. Yeah, very cute. Put this up. All of that has storage as well. Yep. So that's tons of room up here for you know wow. whatever your captain needs are. I really like the finishes, like the wood, the dashboard, cup holders, massive Garmin electronic chart plotters here, big center one, two repeaters, our MTU screens right here, engine controls, um, start stop buttons, ignition right there, hydraulic bounce, stern thrusters, side power control panel. It has a sea keeper and it is outfitted with fins. Got our Garmin remote here. So that must be really comfortable. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> to um, have both is uh, pretty insane. <laughs> I, I guess there's the redundancy for you right there. Or, you know, when you're at anchor, you're probably going to use the sea keeper, which is working a little bit better. When you're underway, you use the fins. That's what I would do. Makes sense. Got our yeah, management system right here. Screen can, you know, check on all your levels and so on. Uh, our helm. Our engine throttle and shift controls and we do have a joystick right here which i guess ties in it's kind of like a yacht controller ties in your, your thrusters and engine controls together for docking i mean when you up here right the view from up here i mean you feel like you're on like 140 footer it's really nice it's a lot of boat very nice visibility that is rico's face when he's uh looking forward to driving this boat look at his face <laughs> <laughs> okay I love the center helm, helm seat. And then we get another, uh -huh. oh, wait a minute. Look at this, guys. What? Obviously, we're going to keep that closed or we're going to close it up again because it's very warm and wow. sunny here in Florida. But what a skylight, huh? That's gorgeous. Then I see there is a pop-up TV right there. Mm -hmm. I want to watch some TV and here. It looks, and it looks very large as well. Yep. And... A proper necessary feature on any flybridge for long journeys, a day ahead, and especially if you're entertaining out on the flybridge here, really nice. You don't Comes need to handy. go. Yeah, I don't need to go Agreed. downstairs. Agreed. So pretty nice. So as Rico said, this all could be completely open. This part and this lowers down. Yep. So it can be completely open. And here's our open part of the flybridge. Beautiful. I mean, obviously, enclosed fly is a preference. So, you know, some people don't like to have it, some people do, so it's definitely a choice. Um, I think it just all depends on the application, where the boat lives, how you use it. So, it's for long journeys, colder climates, hot climates, you know, it's, um, it's nice to have. Yeah, it comes in handy being able to blast your air conditioning um, when you, especially here in Florida, where it's pretty humid and hot during the summer. Yeah, definitely. Okay, what do we got here? We got a nice outdoor bar. Just in case you get sick of a downstairs bar, we just come up here and we have a different bar you, experience. You gotta have choices. This is your sundowner bar for sure. And for those of you that don't know what sundowners are, Google it right now. <laughs> okay, so electric grill. Yep. Some storage here, drink fridge as well. Oh, some good things. Everything in there. is loaded. Okay. We should stay here. I know, right? 
Okay. Got your sink here. Yeah, wet pot. And a storage space here as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Everything you need is here. Nice countertops. This furniture is movable, so it's not built in. Yes, so you can definitely up for, you know, something completely different, loungers, things you can change. Look at those puppies. Yeah, got our arch, our radar arch up there, our electronics domes. And then I'm just looking at it. We got some nice outriggers outfitted here. Well, it is a Viking after all. It is a Viking after all. So even if you are yachting you should be able to fish right so that makes total sense and there is more crew quarters and the engine room let's go oh the stairs are really great look they just have that finish that i'm talking about yep, kind of a film that goes on top all right i'm seeing here already we got our ac breakers right here generator breakers most of the big breakers of the AC is here. We have our yacht management system here, monitors are here, battery switches, and more breakers. Bunch of fishing gear. So they definitely do fish, for sure. So we are in the crew quarters right now. Yeah, crew quarters, crew mats here. So um, yeah, you walk in into this cabin to give you guys perspective on jump in here. There is a, a porthole. Which is covered right now, really nice. A little store um, space here for, obviously there's crew on board, so I'm gonna be respectful. I'm not gonna open everything, you guys. I know you like that, but all of that is storage. Uh-huh. Yep, um, looks like there's some, some even some space maybe underneath the bed, so pretty cool. Come on. All right, so we, had, we got, so we got that on the starboard side. I got a head. Midship. Mm-hmm. What does this do? Oh. I was kind of, I was very deceiving. I thought it was going to open so this storage way. storage there. Yeah, storage and then, here. Um, and we've got a good size shower here as well. Really good size. Yeah. Same finishes like in the um, forward portion of the yeah, boat. Yeah, they kept the marble. Very and, nice. Yeah, it's very, it's, yeah, very, very fair. I like that. That means that they're going to treat their crew. Fantastic. Got Cute a little space. bit of a little bit of a crew mess here. Yeah. Uh, have a microwave up here. A little bit fo little foldable table. Foldable table to to have a quick meal. Fridge and freezer. TV right here as well. Yeah, captain's quarters. Very nice. Is there any storage in there, Rico? Um, there is. Yes. Also a TV and a cabinet right here. Nice portholes. Yeah, very nice. The crew quarters feel very like sunny and bright as well. They yep. don't feel dungeony at all, right? Alrighty. Great space for three people. Hundred percent. Really en nice. Engine room. You ready for this? Okay. Might be a little bit louder in there because be loud. we have our air conditions running and everything. Okay. That is a proper engine room. Wow. Right. So you've got your escape hatch here. Yep. Escape hatch there, escape hatch there. There. So um, that, that goes to the garage? Uh-huh. Got our garage here. Good size garage. All right, Captain. Hello. Quickly. So we have two large Cummins Onan generators, one on each side. They're equal. And then we have our parts of the engine room, the two big MTU V12 engines with each 2,000 horsepower. All our chillers are there. Got a nice little workstation here. Our exhaust system, really nice. The hydraulic unit for, the, for all the hydraulics on the boat, the side power unit and uh, hydraulics. And then of course our battery chargers and all electrical stuff. And then look at these engine room fans here. Pretty amazing. They're blowing some air through here. I don't know if you guys can feel it or see it. Pretty nice cool. Nice engine room, right? Very nice engine room. Let, let me go around the engine one time.
great accessibility. Bag holder storage as well. You look so little. I am little. Love it. So clean. Ah, love it. All the access, look at that. Good. This completes our tour of 93 Viking. I know you guys enjoyed it. It is a really, really cool boat. We both thought that the finishes were pretty awesome. It was really beamy. It had a lot of different ways that you could use it as a yacht. Also a great yacht for someone who enjoys fishing on the side. So pretty, pretty cool possibilities here. If you are interested in purchasing this yacht, all the information will be in the description below this video. And like always, please like, subscribe, follow us on our two Instagram accounts. And, and, um, Check out our Patreon page, if you haven't. Join the Naughty Crew. Enjoy the outtakes. Cute outfit. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. We are actually on the flybridge. Nah. What did I do with my sunglasses? Huh. Gonna need them. Yep. And our... Hang on, hang on. Watertight. Hang on. So we have all of that going oh well i think <laughs> we're not I, I done don't... yet oh if we have to like have heart to heart this would be a good space yeah yeah let me open up some hatches what she said no that doesn't work let's go this way let's go Wait, this way no let's start this way and go back okay it's... okay but very look, cool look here, guys. <laughs> did you get that on video yeah and this looks looks there looks 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 this looks like a cap like a captain's, captain's cabin Oh,